today really is all about our pioneering research that we are leading with Rothamsted Research. And it's all about how are we gonna better engage with our future generation. So those of the age group from 12 to 18, uh, we're very aware that the industry at large, food and farming industry, have worked with primary schools for many, many years, but there's this long forgotten large section of society that we need to engage with better. And the research is aiming to inform us as an industry how we might better engage. So ultimately today is about listening, it's about learning, and then it's about us leading on these different five projects collaboratively that the students have given us today. Well, I think traditionally we've been incredibly good at engaging with the primary school years and they love going out on the farms and it's really important to start that work early. However, I think we've been missing a trick and I think the teenagers are the ones that are, they're our future, so we really have got to engage with them. They will remember their days out on the farm, they'll remember any kind of information that we can give them about farms. You know, we've got young people who are shaping their futures and I think we ignore the teenagers at our peril. We really must engage and we must do it now in order that we can reap the benefits soon. I personally think that young people should be informed of what farming is actually about because a lot of young people see farming as animals on a farm and that's it. Yet there's a lot in the background of it, there's a lot to do with the soil, the crops and a lot of the young people just don't get told that. I think to engage younger people the farming industry needs to make sure they're putting themselves out there and making sure people are educated and know more about how to get involved with farming. And they need to know that it's not just about getting down dirty, there are more academic sides to it and business and stock. I was leading the Fit for Life focus group and we were discussing about how being outdoors can have an effect on your health and well-being. So some of the best ideas we had today were about learning about how to help yourself to get outside. We also discussed how, you know, animals can have an effect on your health and your well-being. So today my focus group was about Let's Connect and we spoke about making an award like the Duke of Edinburgh to do with farming or a Snapchat channel slash YouTube channel to educate children on where their food comes from and how it's made and what they can do to help promote it. Our best idea was the residential trip so that people could actually see what the life was for a farmer. I think to engage young people, the farming industry should be really getting into schools, showing young people why it's so important and how it's so connected to our everyday lives. And really reaching out to them and making them approachable. Some of the best ideas I heard today were that we could get a sort of existing personality, sort of someone on YouTube to sort of really show how great farming is, all the different things in it, and really promoting them, getting someone who's really genuinely passionate. Well, I think social media is a really good way to encourage young people because you can advertise it, and a lot of young people use social media. We mentioned making a Snapchat story of someone farming, and I think that's a good idea because it's different to a lot of the trendy or top 10 Snapchat stories that are on at the moment. It's been just brilliant to bring their ideas into one place but also the work that we're doing at the farm school trying to engage with teenagers doing GCSEs in food science and nutrition. So that's what we hope to do, create an interest, work closely with LEAF and also with the support of the Countess of Wessex. It's just been a brilliant, brilliant day.